A couple days ago when we were getting ready to leave for Daytona, we noticed our pit bike got stolen. So today we're on the hunt to go find it. We are at $110,000 reward. Perfect. Okay. Red Honda 110, all red. It's for sure him. I, I have a gut feeling, dude. It's I him. So we live in the worst state in the world called North Carolina where it rains like seven days a week. Riding the pit bike, it, you know, I'm riding and having fun and it gets like super muddy because it stays wet and I just ride if it's like just a little bit more dry. Anyways, I leave the pit bike literally right here. I didn't want to take it into the garage, muddy as hell. It was already getting dark out, so I didn't want to wash it. And I'm like, ah, I'll leave it out here for the night. It'll be fine. My truck, the shadow of my truck, was covering it perfectly to where we couldn't see on the security cameras at what time the bike disappeared. Sun went down, bike was there, sun came up, bike was gone. I tried posting an Instagram video to scare the guy, tell him we had his information. We didn't have his information. But we're gonna find it today, I can assure you. We're straight up, we're gonna find this dude. Had the audacity to come this close to our house and take the pit bike and expect not to get caught. So I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to find this person today. We want the pit bike to catch the ride. These things were never good until they got like flat, dude. You had to work them. Work. You sit there and like make your own happy. That doesn't make sense. Unlock the car, open the door. Smile on your face. Now I makes me feel that way. How do you feel about the pit like go to the end of the world to find this pit bike. These are going all over our town, baby. It's like place. Everyone in North Carolina goes to Lowe's. Right off the Lowe's parking lot, there's a stop sign right here. People will have to see it. Oh, oh, I didn't stick good enough. Hey, there's a missing pit bike out. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? No. Nope. Don't kill me! Missing pit bike, ladies and gentlemen. Put him in jail. Missing. Red Honda 110, all red. Baby, took it right out of the front porch. Put him in jail. $3,000, reward is 1,000. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Missing pit bike, I look like a freaking homeless man. Right here, we're gonna stick it on the pole. Everyone goes to CVS, right across from the gas station. It's perfect. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Here we go. It's not helping, it's raining right now. There we go, perfect, good enough. But we go to no matter what to get the CRF 110 back. He stole my pit bike. Have you seen him? Missing pit bike. It's all red, CRF 110. Out the lawn, put him in jail. This is my only happy thing. He took every bit of happiness out of my heart. 110 missing, wanted, running or not. Have you seen it, little buddy? He was like six, I'm traumatizing him. Let's freaking go before the cops get called. I think we're right down <laughs> in Lincolnton too. <laughs> Put the in. nap employee was right at the window looking at you. I was like, oh gosh, we better, we better. Try a different intersection. When the pit bike originally got stolen, I ended up calling up one of the cops and made a police report, that way we could maybe get it back and she mentioned something about how when people steal, steal stuff out here they take it to pawn shops to get quick money so i found the number one pawn shop in our area and we're gonna go check it out see if they've seen a pit bike recently i don't suspect they get too many honda 110s in there brand new so we're gonna go see for ourselves <gasps> they have air streams here oh i thought you saw it dude oh, you can't sorry. do that i'm sorry i'm sorry i got excited it's an air stream i love my air streams no. <laughs> There it is. We got it. They changed the graphics on it. They changed the plot sticks. And the whole bike. Manufacturer. <laughs> Been to a pawn shop before. Dude, I feel like I'm just gonna turn a corner and see it. We had our uh, pit bike 
stolen from our property. I talked to a police officer and um, they said most likely when a lot of stuff gets stolen, they take it to pawn shops. What? I can't believe they said that. <laughs> she said to check here just to see. Um, so I'm what kind of tip, by the way? It's a red Honda 110. Have you looked up? Put your uh, memory onto Facebook Market. And put oh, I, oh, I have. Okay, and yeah. go to eBay. Mm -hmm. And, uh... It's really depressing. We checked the main pawn shop here. He hasn't seen anything about it. The only good thing is that with the VIN number and making a police report with it, it will get flagged up places. So there is no pawn shops that will most likely buy it. Or if they do have it, they'll make um, they'll contact the police for it. So that is good side of it. I think our best bet now is to go drive down some of the back roads near our house and stuff. Kind of see if anyone has it like in their back garage, yard, like backyard area behind a house. Kind of see what we can see from the road and maybe we'll I mean it's bright red it's really hard to miss if it's outside and a lot of the trees are dead right now so you're able to see through them to people's houses it's got to be someone that that is like we don't live out in like really open public land like so it's got to be someone that drives past mm -hmm. every day and drove past and saw it for two days and was like yeah it. i don't know like if it, we were really close to the road i would say okay like if someone could just hop out and grab it real quick but like we're dude deep. you gotta run like almost like probably 800 feet go slow right here see they have that shed right there and they have a gas tank <laughs> i don't know but they have a shed and a gas tank. They have a shed they, and a gas they, tank. They for sure have it. I don't, dude, what about, there's some kids that ride down there off that um house. Go down that house. Go slow, go slow, come on. Oh, okay. Going slow, going slow, coming up. One of those guys that were in that Camaro that slowed down earlier was just looking yeah, for another Yeah, what were pit they bike. doing? Mm -hmm. they that were was shady. That another was another pit bike. We'll go the direction they went and see if we can find their car next. Yo, who is that? Hold on, watch out. For real. What, what is this? I literally just looked out the front. Get his license. Oh, look, him. he's slowing down again. Let's go get him. They're probably shady. <gasps> what if they were the people that did it? This dude's got a Fox sticker. It's for sure him. And uh, he's in a truck with a gas tank and a shed. <gasps> That's him. That's our guy. I What's know. your obsession with gas tanks? And shit. You gotta put gas in it. Who owns a gas tank? Who owns He's a gas tank? He's got an airstream. <gasps> they have airstreams? <gasps> a shed in the back that you visibly can't see the full thing from the road. He's got a truck that is capable of putting it in the bed of the truck. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then on top of that, he had a Fox sticker on the that that right there, that checks all the boxes. Ah! And within a mile of our house. <laughs> You're annoying. I, I have a gut feeling, dude. It's I, him. I, Let's go ask him. I want to go ask him. You ask him, you go up to him, and you have, he's got a fox sticker on the back of his truck. Like, hey, man, I saw you had a fox sticker on the back of your truck. Like, do you ride at all or go to any tracks around here? Like, I'm new to this place. Like, just looking for a place to go ride. He goes, oh yeah, I actually go to this track. Oh, that's sick, what do you ride? Oh, a CRF Honda. I understand, but make yeah, your make own your... happy. That doesn't make sense. If it said happy moments. Happiness? Yes, happiness. But make your own happy? How can I make my own happy if you can't even make sense? We will, we will rock you. <laughs> We will, we will rock you. The limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way, I'm coming back home. Long dirt road, all on my own. I'm gonna be the greatest, run my name in the stone. Run my name in the stone. Don't growl at me. What? You're fine. <laughs>